Hi, my name is William Stewart, and I am from New Jersey in the United States of America. The title of today's paper that I will be talking about is Barrier Island Migration Dominates Ecogeomorphic Feedbacks and Drives Salt Marsh Loss Along the Virginia Atlantic Coast in the U.S. Uh, this paper was written by Charles Deaton of the College of William and Mary in Virginia. So barrier islands have associated back bay environments, typically salt marshes and tidal flats, um, which have been and are currently under a huge threat from rapid sea level rise. So historically, these environments and compared to barrier islands, um, their evolutions have been treated separately, but recent work suggests that they should be coupled or paired via, uh, with their respective processes. So the goal of this paper by Deaton is to test whether certain whether or not certain concepts govern the integrated evolution of barrier systems by analyzing the 150 year geographic evolution of nine largely undeveloped mixed energy barrier systems along the eastern shore of the US um, and these pre-identified concepts um, come from a conceptual model known as runaway transgression which has been coined by Fitzgerald in 2008 which states or predicts that under rapid sea level rise rates, the back barrier environment will be submerged, converting marsh to open water, and leading to an increase in the tidal prism. So for their methods, they collected historical shoreline positions along the Virginia Barrier Island system and were digitized from 1851 to 1997 large almost 150 year gap. They then calculated shoreline change rates for this combined data set along uh, transects and certain intervals and these were used or achieved by using a plugin in ArcGIS. They, another thing that this paper looked at were uh, TP or tidal proxies and the change in, in those over the long period that they were able to like sort of take from those historical images. So notable results from this study are that long-term uh, island average shoreline retreat rates are ranged from between 1.2 to 6.2 meters per year. Um, however, the average system-wide retreat rate was 5.1 meters per year. So over five meters a year for a beach retreat rate, which is, in my opinion, pretty massive and, and kind of scary uh, when I think about it. And it makes sense as to why there's no, or there's so much dredging uh, going on in that region along the eastern shoreboard to, to keep to try and mitigate the loss of that longshore transport. Um, modern uh, TP or tidal proxy values ranged from a loss of 19.5% to a gain of 4.4% between, excuse me, between the years 1870 to 2009. Um, so looking at this a little further, changes in marsh area were calculated as a net loss between 1870 and 2009. Um, this net loss was just under 63 square kilometers or 19.3% of the 1870 established marsh X extent, um, which is a rate of about 4.45 square kilometers per year. They also observed that burial, burial resulting from island migration um, is responsible for the majority of marsh loss across the barrier islands and that marsh loss was 51.4% so over half so it was responsible for more over half the, the loss. So onto some sort of key takeaways it's important that they know barrier island back barrier ecogeomorphic couplings have been proposed as a dominant driver of barrier system change in response to rapid sea level rise However, their findings are in direct contrast to this conceptual framework. They found strong negative relationships between shoreline retreat rate, um, between both that and also um, changes in the tidal proxy that were identified as well. Um, shoreline retreat rates instead likely, ref li likely reflect drivers not related to barrier marsh eco morphodynamic feedbacks, so that's kind of a big statement. They definitely uh, rivaled and encountered the uh, pre-lane pre conceptual framework. So regardless of the mechanisms responsible for shoreline change on any given island, we find that, uh, or they found that barrier island migration had driven a net loss of marsh and back barrier area through time uh, in general. Just some final remarks from Deaton uh, were that 
such barrier back barrier interactions um, can be expected like the ones that they addressed in Virginia can be expected in other barrier systems in to the Carolinas as well as in New Jersey um, and that artificial stabilization of barrier islands which is you know for example the addition of, of sand and dredging from elsewhere um, may provide short-term resistance to the impacts of migration however it decreases system resilience to sea level rise in the long term which you know has its takes and honestly doesn't look very good therefore leading to large-scale marsh loss may be inevitable as barrier systems worldwide equilibrate to accelerated sea level rise um, so that's kind of bad news all around for me um, and then this is sort of the end of my video I would like to say that there is a supplemental material paper that is um, incorporated with this report of the f of, or sort of the first link that details and describes well the methods that were um, included uh, for the GIS programs and the the shots and how they were able to identify and calculate the shoreline retreat rates and the TP rates um, and then also just a little note in general this was actually pretty interesting to me because I in my undergrad in Pennsylvania I worked at I would take summer classes at a field station in Virginia and I worked on and studied at a couple of the barrier islands mentioned and labeled in the supplemental paper um, and so I was very interested in looking at their uh, retreat rates and what it meant for the salt marshes in the area um, not good as exciting as it was to to look at this stuff close to home none of it looked like good news for me um, and it kind of hits to home hard because my ocean uh, initiate or my ocean like exposure is at barrier islands in New Jersey so it doesn't doesn't look like there's 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 not some fun stuff going on that for the future um, of those places so yeah thanks a lot for the assignment I really appreciate getting to research uh, something 